Right, so finally, we have our blue, green, luminance, and red masters that have all been stacked together. So we had 24 blue frames that have been bias, dark, flat corrected, stacked together to produce this master file. So that's only 12 for the green, because I'm still lacking an hour's data there. There's uh, two hours data in the luminance, 24 frames, and 10 in the red. Uh, sorry, 12 in the red. So we now have these masters. Which uh, let's take a look at the blue master, for instance. Okay, so that, sorry, that's the image because it's not been stretched. We'll just apply Pix and Sites uh, STF function which is just the auto stretch and we can start to see some detail. So this is the 24 blue frames all calibrated and stacked together. Um, now at this point you could start to combine these images now just to get an idea of what you're going to have. However, if I boost this you can see the gradients in this frame. The, this one particularly has uh, quite a gradient, not entirely sure why. Uh, there must have been something in the second data set frames that were carrying this gradient over because I had actually already uh, ran this first data set uh, just to see you know, what, it, what it was going to be like. Um, and this wasn't here in the blue. So this is definitely something that's happened in the second set of data. But it doesn't matter because we can get rid of it. So the process called dynamic background extraction. Uh, there is also ABE, which is automatic, which in some instances works quite well. In others, it doesn't. I use dynamic because I prefer to have more control over what's actually happening in the process. So I've actually got it preloaded. Now the idea with this is you let me just change these sample points color so we can actually see them. Uh, let's go to a yellow. Okay, and we'll just go back to a normal stretch. Right, so these yellow crosses are sample points on the image. Each one, uh, this, that green one that's highlighted is what is underneath there. And what you want to be doing is selecting just background in an image. You don't want to have any stars or anything like that. And if we just put one down, uh, if I move that around, you can see the preview box moving. If we go near to anything that's remotely interesting, you can see it changes to black because it's signal, not background. You can see it moving around. So the idea is we just, you want to put that in a place where there's nothing but background. I'm not going to go too much into depth into the tolerances and sample radiuses, um, but I will link some information and tutorials on DBE because it's it can get quite involved. But once you've done it a few times, it's actually relatively simple. Now the idea is we want to subtract the gradient from this image. So target image correction here. We want our correction is subtraction. So we're you know, getting rid of the gradient. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to run this and you can see what happens. So if I execute it, okay, it brings up a new file, which is the new uh, Blue Master, which has been renamed to DBE for Dynamic Background Extraction. Now this is also the file that it removed. This is the background that it's actually subtracted. So it's dark because it's still linear. So until we stretch it, we can't actually see it. So let's just stretch it. Okay, and if we boost it, it's even more clear. Like here, something, I mean, it's seriously boosted, so let's just take it back. But you can see this gradient, very dark, light, and the gradient goes across. And this is what has been subtracted. So we'll just get rid of that. And then if we look at the image it's just produced, there we go. So we now have an image with the gradient removed. If I just close this quickly, uh, and bring that back uh, to fit and to fit. 
that case, we have this one with the gradient. No gradient. There is a slight thing here, but it's not. I'm not really too concerned about that. But the the actual whole gradient change is gone. We've lost that gradient there. It's actually neutralised the background a bit as well, which is quite nice. So that is our next step. We do the DBE to all of our masters. So the blues, the green, the red, and the luminance. And when we've done that, we come back for the next step.